Phoenix fruit and how it got to its current standing grampies and why, you know, the fruit needs a rework. So I'm, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Phoenix fruit. I'm going to explain how it got gutted the way it is now. And I'm also going to talk about uh, the rework that I would personally give this fruit because I have a lot of ideas in mind. So yeah, to start off, I'm going to talk about the Phoenix fruit. It got added during update two and it came out and it was actually really good. You know, the fruit was crazy. Um, A lot of people wanted to get the fruit nerfed. I, I can kind of understand why, because... The, the meta for this game was really just to run away, heal, and then just run away and attack, and more, just run away. And it worked. Honestly, it, it worked sometimes in ranked, but I don't think that the fruit deserved a nerf purely because you could beat Tor users just by applying a lot of pressure. You know, I thought it was possible. Me, personally, I, I didn't think that the fruit was invincible, but some people, a lot of people actually disagreed and complained. Nerf, nerf, nerf. Everybody wanted the fruit nerfed. So because... A lot of people in the community complained and complained and complained. This led to the developers choosing to gut. See, they thought they were helping the fruit. They thought they were helping, but they actually gutted the fruit. And I honestly thought that the update would help as well. I made a video talking about how it helped. It's my fitness video around a week ago. I don't know if y'all remember that. But um, basically, the nerf was that now Phoenix is going to take way more stamina. or It's percentage based in full form, meaning that you can't fly forever no matter how much stamina you have. It's gonna, it's gonna, you can only use it for a certain amount of time based on your stamina pool. And then the buff was that, well, actually, it was a little bit more to the nerf. So the nerf also included something to the healing. Now, the healing skills off Dale Fruit stat. So if you only have 100, 125, I think it is, in Phoenix, which is the requirement to get all the moves, your healing will be terrible. Your healing will not work whatsoever. You need at least 300 for good healing. So think about this. Now, because of this nerf, or I don't know if that was the way before, you now need to have 300 in Dale Fruit stat to do even nearly the amount of healing that you had before. So that automatically makes it so that you're not getting Diablo, you're not getting Fishman Cry. Actually, you might get, I don't know, Fishman Cry to work. You're not getting uh, Black Leg. I don't know if you can get anything else, but you're damn sure not putting points into whatever whatever else you're getting. You're definitely not getting Black Leg because the stat point requirement is way too high and you're not going to be able to heal at all. So Phoenix is shafted. You really cannot make a decent Phoenix build anymore without having to spend a lot of skill points. Now the buff was that Phoenix does more damage. I'm pretty sure it's just for the burst ability. I'm not too sure it might affect the ultimate as well, but yeah, I thought it'd be a good buff. It, it really wasn't, but yeah, that's pretty much a summary of what happened with the Phoenix route. Onto the moveset, I'm going to explain this and then we'll get into the rework. So the E move is a move called Phoenix Talons. You activate this and it doesn't hit through Logia, but a unique ability about these Talons is that if you actually hit somebody with the Talons, the burn damage that these talents do will actually apply to your HP, so you'll be regenerating just by using these. Now, these do not hit through Logia, all right? I'm going to talk about this fact in my rework section of the video, all right? We're going to get to that. Moving on, the second move is a move called Half a Form. It's the R ability. Now, what this does is it launches you into the air and gives you Phoenix Wings and Phoenix, wings and Phoenix Talons. We're going to talk about this a lot, but um, move after that is Flames of Regeneration. Now, this move got absolutely gutted it's it's terrible now move is absolutely garbage but we're gonna talk about that too now the third move is a move called phoenix burst it just shoots out fireballs depending on what form you're using we're gonna talk about that full phoenix form just a big phoenix you know you've all seen it y'all know what that is and the last move is starburst stream now, this is a guard break very fast it can be tech eyed extremely easily so i think it's fairly balanced but if you fail to tech eye it, you're just going to sit there and take all that damage. So I think it's balanced. Moving on to the rework, and this might take me a few minutes to explain. So how would I change the Phoenix fruit to make it balanced? How would I make it a better fruit? So just to explain something really quick, a rework is not just me editing around some moves, nerfing some moves, buffing some moves. A rework is me actually going into the moves, changing the way that they function in the game, and maybe even erasing some moves and putting in new moves in their place. So we'll start off with Phoenix Towns. How would I change these these Phoenix Towns. So for Phoenix Towns, um, first off, I just want to say this is a 0.05% legendary or mythical zone. All right, this is a mythical zone. Okay. I first off think that Phoenix Towns should hit through Logia. I see no reason why they should not be able to. It's not like it's unbalanced purely because of the fact that if you actually want to hit anybody, you're going to need hockey regardless to extend your range. Going into the range with just Black Leg is a, it's just it's just it's suicidal because everybody's gonna outrange you and it's gonna be the same for phoenix talents no matter how much hockey you have on your talents you're not gonna have range on your talents so i think that that's balanced and it doesn't it takes away the issue where this route has zero guard breaks because now you can actually attack regardless of how many block breaks you have even if you don't have hockey your only option when you don't have hockey 
isn't to run away anymore. You can actually fight. So it's useful. Is this balanced? I personally think so. Um, I don't know. Some people might argue that this isn't balanced, but I just see no reason why Talon shouldn't do Logia. Next move, half form. How would I change this? I would completely erase this from the game. It serves quite literally no purpose. The move is useless. It does nothing special but launch into the air. Like seriously, it, it does nothing. It shoots it. In fact, this move, this move somehow, not only is it useless, it serves less of a purpose in full form. Not only does it heal less, it also shoots out less fireballs. So the move is literally useless. There's no point in having this. Instead of this move, you could add in the move that was used against Aokiji, you could add in the move that was used against Kizaru, any of the admirals. You, you could even add in that flame wall that he used to protect Luffy and Jinbei from Akainu. There's just so many moves you could add in in place of this useless move. I just don't get why this is added. Sure, it looks cool, but it's useless. It serves no purpose. You will never see a sword using this. Now, next up, you have Flames of Regeneration. How did I just say? Regeneration. How would I change Flames of Regeneration? I would revert the healing nerf because that gutted it. You should only have to put on 25 into the nerf route to get your busted healing because that's the Phoenix route. That's what the Phoenix route is all about. That insanely busted healing. And if it doesn't have that, it's just not the Phoenix route. Also, I don't know what gave you the idea that your regeneration should be different based off what form you're in. Uh, I don't really understand that. I guess that's to keep it balanced, but i i don't know why that's a thing I, I guess i'll just i won't say anything about that for phoenix burst i would change this i'd make it slightly faster with a little bit less i guess warm up make it easier to like to shoot out faster i don't know, I don't know what the what the term is for that but basically i'm saying let it be shootable faster so that you can actually combo into it because right now it's far too slow you're never gonna get a combo with this your best bet is to just use a weapon and try to actually hit with it because otherwise you're never hitting this Movie's just useless. Now, I'm not saying Phoenix Burst is bad because obviously it's three mini fireballs. All I'm saying is you cannot combo into this with just Phoenix. You need some sort of weapon or a partner or something to combo into this move. Full Phoenix form, how would I change this? I wouldn't change this move. I would not change this at all. I just leave it like how it is. A Starburst Stream, I really like this move. That's all I'm gonna say. I like Starburst Stream a lot. It's a cool move. It just looks neat. I like that move a lot. Let's go over this one more time. All right. So, Phoenix Towns, I would change this by giving it the ability to hit through Logia, all right? I'm not asking for any crazy, crazy, insane abilities. All I'm asking is for you to give this route the ability to hit through Logia with Phoenix Talons. It's not even like this is unbalanced. This would actually be balanced. And it'd be balanced purely because of the fact that you have no range. It doesn't matter if you can hit through Logia, you have no range. And this actually encourages Phoenix users to not run. This encourages Phoenix users to actually sit there and attempt to box. Because if you're fighting with the Talons, you're, you're healing, so... Why would you not want to fight to get your health back? You'd basically be invincible, right? If it actually worked that way. Because in this game, the majority of the time, you're not going to see a Phoenix user using their talents. Because if I'm being completely honest, there's a lot of problems with the fruit. First off, when you switch from your weapon to your talents, sometimes your talents aren't out. So you're just sitting there and money, doing one damage per punch like an idiot. You're just sitting there getting hit. And then another problem is... You, majority of the time, are going to have to A, activate hockey, and then afterwards, B, when your hockey's on, go to your weapon, your trident, or whatever you're using first. And then after that, C, you're going to have to use the talent. So, it's it's just three unnecessary steps, so you can just do step A by using the trident, the weapon. You, it's just it's just too much work right now to use the talent. It's just too much, if I'm being completely honest. And you're not going to be able to do all these steps every single time you want to go into a combo. Because if you're in a combo, you're in the heat of the moment. You got to use moves, you got to use skills. You're not going to be able to do all these steps in the middle of a combo. So definitely change that. And next up, half form, completely remove this. Move is actually useless. I don't see any I don't see any purpose for this move whatsoever. It has less healing. It shoots out less fireballs. I don't understand how like this move was thought to be a good idea. It serves, n it serves no purpose other than, I guess, getting out of combos. And even that, it sometimes fails that, especially if you're low on HP. Planes of Rejuvenation, I would completely revert the healing nerf. Now, these changes would make this route disgusting. It would make this route relatively busted. But this is a 0.5% mythical zone. So I honestly think that it should be busted. It's the Phoenix route for God's sake. It's the it's Marco. This is the the so-called strongest man in the world. Right hand man. This is somebody that boxed. This is a member of the crew that boxed against the Roger Pirates. So I just think that should be kept in mind. We're talking about we're talking about Marco the Phoenix here, guys. Like I just don't understand why this route got just got shafted. No. Next up, how would I change Phoenix Burst? Okay, first off, this needs to be a lot faster. You can't combo to Phoenix Burst. Like, I don't know why. 
you can't combo into this move. This, this route has no combos. It, there's no combos you can do with this route. Not by itself. Like for Mare, for example, you can do four and ones into a Phoenix Trident into a Gen. You're probably gonna hit that as long as your enemy, you know, is unguarded. He can is a move you can spam a lot. You can spam he can a lot, and you're probably gonna hit it in the majority of the times. For flame bursts or whatever this crap is called, you're not hitting that. You're just not hitting that. I don't understand why the move was made so bad. Now, it's not as if I haven't tried to suggest to buff Phoenix before. Like I've said, remove the half form move. It's useless. Just doesn't make any sense to use half form. Like half form just doesn't make any sense. The form is just completely, completely useless. Now, I'm not asking for some insanely busted move to replace this. Hell, if all you, if you want to keep this move, be my guest. All right. I'm not saying you 100% need to get rid of this, but I am saying that the fruit, the, the move itself needs something special to it. Because right now it has nothing. There's really no reason whatsoever to keep the half form. There's no reason to use it. It's not faster. It's not stronger doesn't do more damage it doesn't have more healing it's useless it's completely useless so what i'm saying is if you don't want to make this a new move if you don't want to get rid of this and make an actual move all you gotta do is give this get just give this move something special about it make it a little bit faster make it so you can use weapons in this mode just something that would really give this really just give this form the edge against uh i guess full form because right now there's, there's no point in using this just use full form so yeah, I think I uh, hopefully managed to vent that out. Um, I've been wanting to make a video talking about Phoenix for a long time because it's honestly one of my favorite fruits in the show. And to see it get gutted like this is sad. The fruit is just useless for the majority. Um, I actually watched a video talking about the Phoenix fruit, so I figured we could react to that for the at last half of this video. Okay, it was this guy's video. His name is Zeron Nikolam. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I really apologize. But check this video out because... My bad, I interrupted myself. This, this guy's video made a lot of sense to me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play this and react. Today, and I looked at the Grand Peace Online trading channel. Guess what I saw? Somebody trading two fruits for one Tori. Okay, okay. Let's talk about this. Two, two Logias. Two Logias, right? For a Tori. All right. This is a 0.5% chance. Looking at this, it should make sense. Logias are 1%, right? One Tori is 0.5%. So two Logia should equal 0.5% times two, that's 1%. So this should be equal trade, except it shouldn't be because this is the mythical zone, the Phoenix route. You should be getting at least three to four Logias for this. Two Logias is not even trade. And because because of the fact that the Phoenix is so bad now, people are actually accepting these trades. But back to the video, let's go back. And the crazy thing is, People with Tori actually have to accept this trade. They got it's no choice. Mind boggling, honestly. It shouldn't a 0.5% fruit be worth way more legendaries? And this isn't exactly the case. For its move kit. The first move it has is Phoenix Talons. Skip past this the move for player damage and deal burn damage. The Phoenix Talons go away when you enter half form or full Phoenix form. Yep, another huge problem right there. When you go into the mode, like I said, your Talons are away. You got to put them back on. It just takes time. And while you're doing that, you're going to hit. The second move is Flames of Rejuvenation, I think. I don't I don't know the real name. I think that's the real name. Yeah, you got that But wrong, basically, the move heals you while The second move is a uh, half form. I'm just being annoying though. My fault. Active. And it also drains your stamina. You heal more if you're in hybrid form or full Phoenix form. The third move is hybrid form. You just get wings and talons of a phoenix. It boosts your healing if you use flames of rejuvenation and allows you to use phoenix burst. The fourth move is phoenix burst. You shoot a ball of fire ahead of you in half form. And you guessed it, you burst shoots three balls of fire now. The last move is called Starburst Stream. It's in times. Looked at this move kit, they would instantly know that phoenix is a healing fruit and that's it it's yep. offensive literally everything he's saying here is facts the fruit has no guard breaks that's a problem adele free and grand peace online not having any guard breaks besides ultimate huge huge problem get rid of half form get, make it a block break that balances this fruit out its capabilities are very limited now the reason why tori is so undervalued now is because they nerfed its healing to oblivion mm -hmm. they made tori's healing skill with devil fruit they lowered Tori's healing. They made Phoenix form drain more stamina. And you mm. want to know why? Because of the smooth brain Grand Peace Online community that keeps complaining it was busted. 
even though its healing was limited towards its stamina, so exactly. as long as you kept the pressure on the Tori user, they would soon be vulnerable. So now Tori isn't good for PvP, nor is it even good for grinding. It's a yeah. terrible fruit. It wasn't an offensive fruit, and now it's not even a defensive one either. So it doesn't matter how rare the fruit See, bro, is, I can... now that it's complete garbage, I can actually kind of understand this guy's frustration. You can hear it in his voice. I can understand this completely. All right, I had to go do some, but as y'all can see, I'm a huge Marco fan, so I understand this guy's frustration. I get it completely. I would be mad too. I am mad. People with Tori have no choice but to trade it for two or even only one legendary fruit. It's the sad, it's the sad truth. So that is why Tori's value in trading is bad. That that's why. And if somebody in the comments says. Oh, but Tori has a 700 plus damage combo with Trident. That's a joke. It isn't a true combo, and there are multiple instances in which you can get. Let me just say that right quick. This fruit has no true combos without any other like weapon. Like just this fruit alone has no true combos. All right, it has no true combos without another weapon. I just want to say that. Get out of it. Thank you. And before somebody says, Sly, every 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 fruit needs a, needs a weapon for a true combo. Uh, Pika doesn't. Uh, Goro doesn't. They don't need to say anything else. But um, yeah, that's the conclusion to this video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed. I think I would do some more videos like these in the future. And yeah, hopefully, some of my suggestions are taken into account. But uh, yeah, that's it for me. Later. I hit up hard, make them switch animations. They change from the show to the movies. On uh. feeling the barricade, who wanna fight with me? I take them out with this two piece. On uh. who's not they cabin when they say they want me? They gon' see my crew, now they losing. Yeah, uh. I be with this shit. We can throw down gear for a goddamn shirt. Let it find out we just cause I'm cold.